Holy shit. Hello, Nuggets. Okay, so I feel like everything just caught up with me. Uh, I slept for last night. I slept for what time is it? I slept for nine hours last night, which I haven't done in, I don't know, an unknown amount of time, very long time. And last night, again, it was like it was, I was getting insomnia and what have you, but um, I'm trying to, still trying to wake up. Um, eventually, I fell asleep. It's now 10 o'clock in the morning. I slept till 10 in the morning, which is in, just crazy to me. And um, I think everything just kind of caught up with me. You know, maybe this is me getting rid of the, the last of the um, the anesthetic that's in there. Um, I didn't take any of the pain pills last night, so I'm off the horse, <laughs> as it were. Uh, I'm not taking the opiates anymore. I didn't take any pain pills last night. Um, uh, and I was depressed yesterday and um, just had a horrible day all around, you know. Um, but so last night just slept and slept. So I'm hoping that that is the end of something, right? Because I I know I've been depressed in my life before and I've slept really long. And actually that can be the start of something, right? You're like, wow, sleeping a long time. And then tomorrow, wow, sleeping a long time. So without a doubt, I am rested. <laughs> With nine hours sleep, I've had enough sleep. After so I should this is day four by the way after the circumcision so I should now be able to get on with my life so maybe this is the point really where I need to kick in and and again you know I've talked before about those little tiny moments like managing the micro decisions um, maybe this is one that I need to do now so I need to go and seize the day because I didn't write yesterday and I said I would uh, I tried I just couldn't concentrate um but maybe this is the moment where i have to decide okay i've got to fix this otherwise i could go into a depression again or i could slip back to where i was a few weeks before before i started this doing this video log um but it's a weird feeling waking up at the clock and it being 10 o'clock in the morning you know laura's out there doing a day it's just weird dogs are both looking at me like what the hell's up with this guy <laughs> he's just sitting on the bed like how is he dead? No, I don't think he's dead. He just moved. Oh, all right. What are you doing later today? No, oh, not much. Anyway. Um, yeah, I need to make good micro decisions today. So after this, I'm going to go shower and take the dressing off of my little member. Um, and he is little. Um, and then um, get dressed, sit down. I, don't, I won't be able to make it to the cafe because just walking is too hard. But I will should be able to sit down, close all of this off, and write. I gotta do it. Oh god, I look rough this morning. Look at it. Woo! What a sleep. All right. Hopefully that's the anesthetic. That's what I'm gonna put it down to. It's the anesthetic. Just had to get it out of my system. I'm no longer on the pills. I got three bottles of pills over here that I can throw away, or put in the closet, or give away. Actually, I could give away these fentramine. They cost $25. So maybe someone who's on it could get them for free. Is there a service that does that? You would think so. Um, all right, you little nuggets. Just wanted to check in because I'm blown away. And I wanted to show you warts and all, as it were. Warts and all. This is what it looks like in the morning when you're fat and have half a cock. Have a good day. Bye.